perception and uh, the name kind of came about about halfway through the process and that's kind of how it works sometimes and I really wasn't quite sure uh, what it was trying to communicate. Uh, je me suis toujours attirée uh, aux thèmes de beauté, uh, de vérité et de thèmes uh, spirituels. Um, alors explorer la vie uh, intérieure sur toile uh, me donne l'opportunité de, de faire lien avec ces trois thèmes. Uh, uh, ce parcours uh, n'était pas un choix uh, conscient au début, uh, mais avec le temps, j'ai trouvé que mes peintures se dirigeaient toujours dans cette direction. Why did I become an artist? It kind of, I felt like it kind of found me. It wasn't something that was ever on my radar. I've always been drawn to, like, like I said, beauty, truth. Um, and I think it was when I walked into a museum and it was in New Orleans, and this painting that I wasn't even connecting with on an intellectual level, like it didn't really say anything to me, I was kind of passing by, hit me in a way that, like I just started crying. And, and I didn't understand why I was crying, but there was something about it that was communicating something that was so deep to me that I just had to figure out why is this happening and what does this mean? Um, and it was only until I tripped over a quote um, from uh, Adolphe Huxley, um, and the quote is, there are things known and there are things unknown, and in between are the doors of perception. And right away, I knew exactly that's what this painting was all about. Because I don't always know what, it, what it's trying to communicate. All I'm trying to do is kind of be faithful to the process and show up and, and, and be, you know, observe and kind of see what, what things are, what they're trying to communicate to me. Um, yeah, I've always, I've always played with abstract. Um, I think it's just a process where it gives me the freedom to just explore new places, mm -hmm and um, get out of my head uh, because I think as soon as I start getting stuck in my head then I've got limitations and I've got ideas of where I think it should go and as soon as I can get out of my head I feel like then the painting can kind of come through me and kind of use me as a vessel and I'm kind of my job is to kind of get my ego out of the way get my ideas out of the way um, get out of the way and, and so it can kind of come through in, in its purest form I suppose is this kind of element of this rectangle kind of shape has come out as some of my previous works as well and I really wasn't quite sure what it was trying to communicate and what I was supposed to do with it or uh, but I do think it's kind of the idea of just pushing beyond uh, what our eyes can see like understanding the world beyond what what we can see in this material world. Uh, je travaille uh, principalement dans les domaines abstraits Euh, premièrement parce que c'est un euh, processus euh, intuitif donc que je jouis. Euh, aussi, je trouve que l'abstrait euh, invite le spectateur et l'artiste euh, à participer dans un dialogue euh, avec les tableaux avant qu'un intellect puisse s'attacher à une idée. Et euh, ceci ouvre la porte euh, à de nouvelles idées et, et de nouvelles directions. And like on their own, uh, you, you know, your brain understands that this is a landscape and you know what to do with it. But on this, uh, on its own, here your, your brain is like, well, what is this? What am I supposed to do with this? And I feel like when you can look through it through a different lens, um, then all of a sudden this becomes the cue to say, well, let's look at it differently. Let's pull them together. And I kind of see these as little like stitches now that are kind of pulling these two ideas together, these two paintings. And then when you step back, you kind of see, oh, well, maybe this is kind of uh, a painting about you know, the ocean and, and, you know, the mountains and the landscape and the ocean. And this is maybe the coral, you know, at the bottom of the ocean. And unless you've been scuba diving or snorkeling, you wouldn't maybe necessarily understand what this is on its own. And I feel like it's a really great metaphor uh, for what I think I'm, I'm trying to do and trying to go. And, and the idea of going um, deeper into oneself and working in the inner landscape of our true self is what I'm really... You know, that's my intention. That's where I'd like to go, and we'll see. <laughs> Pour moi, quand je m'engage euh, dans euh, l'impulsion créative, euh, j'accepte de prendre un voyage euh, au centre du mystère. Et puis, euh, ceci est une expérience euh, pour moi qui est vraiment euh, transformative et, et mystérieuse. 
Yeah, like I feel like Maison des Artistes was really great about supporting me and encouraging me and seeing value in my art. Um, yeah, I, I felt like there's a network of people that you can tap into and um, feel supported by and, and, and they're kind of there to just help you along the way, right?